You're watching Let's Chat. Make sure and join us coming up this Friday, May 7th. It is the 72nd annual Armed Forces Day Parade right here in Chattanooga. And as he has done now for a number of years, here to tell us all about the parades, our friend Mickey McCamish. Captain Mickey McCamish, good to see you, sir. Good to see you, Chip. And you know, Chip, you're right. It's been several years and we've been working together. You as emceeing the parade, calling all of the units and Gosh, we tried to work your voice out. <laughs> We've got about 120 units right now this year, Chip. Wow. Big improvement from last year. We had the parade, but it was, I believe you called it a mobile parade, correct? That's correct, Chip. It was a mobile parade. And this year, we'll be back to a regular parade. Now, we encourage people to follow the Hamilton County Department of Health guidelines, social distancing, mask if they feel comfortable with it. But just follow those guidelines and we'll have a normal parade and everybody will come out and enjoy the parade. You mean like using a little common sense in public? A common sense and an outdoor, wow. and an outdoor parade. Yeah, so, amazing. Yeah. Uh, and this year you said you had how many entries into the We've parade? We've got 120, wow. Chip. And we'll take entries right up until Thursday, uh, right before the parade. What's going to be the biggest difference between this year's parade and last year's mobile parade? I think the biggest difference is just being out and having the uh, units perform as a regular parade, Chip. I think that's the biggest thing, and the, just the freedom of having a parade naturally, a return to normalcy, and everyone's looking for sure. that. So the ROTC units, a lot of those will be back. The area high school marching bands, they will also be back, and a number of other folks who were not able to make last year's parade as well. So that, good. Good. That's correct. Both business, patriotic units, uh, all of the units historically that have been a part of the parade, plus a few additional units will be a, a be a part of the parade. Now, each year, the Armed Forces Day Parade historically salutes one branch of the military. Is that true this year? It is true, uh, Chip, and I'm serving as a military officer, and it's Navy this year. Now, it's oh, wow. a little, just a little different, Chip, in that uh, Navy is still very COVID sensitive. Sure. And therefore, we will not have Navy assets that will be participating. Vice Admiral Ron Etchinson will, will be the parade uh, marshal, so he will be uh, participating. But uh, because uh, Navy is still very, very COVID sensitive, Chief sure. of Naval Operations, the number one sailor, will not be participating this year. Wow. It, uh, hopefully next year we'll be back to the fully blown parade that we have come to grow up with and love for years and years. But again, the parade specifics are it'll get underway this Friday morning starting at? at 1030, stepping off from ML King and Market Street at 1030, and then followed by the luncheon at noontime at the convention center with Congressman Mark Green as a keynote uh, speaker. And of course, he was involved in the capture of Saddam Hussein. I have heard he does a fascinating, fascinating talk. So, yeah. And folks can get tickets to this, correct? They can. They can go online at ChattanoogaAreaVeterans.com and they can fill out a table registration form. Tables are $200. Table seats eight, but one of those seats is occupied by a military person. So there'll be seven guests plus the military person. Captain Mickey McCamish, always a pleasure seeing you, sir. We will see you Friday at the Armed Forces Day Parade. If you want more information on the parade, when it steps off, all the details on that, give us a good website. ChattanoogaAreaVeterans.com. ChattanoogaAreaVeterans.com. Again, ChattanoogaAreaVeterans.com.